Okay. I wanted to address a few issues that I've heard that people have had with the uh, Charvel San Dimas, okay? I am a regular poster over at Harmony Central. I go under the name The Rossness, um, and I post sometimes on uh, JCF, okay? Um, and these are just some general complaints that I've heard about the guitar that people don't like, okay? Um, first and foremost was the original knob that came on this guitar. Um, as I said, I bought this guitar used, um, so I don't have the original knob, but it's horrible. Uh, it, it, it just feels like horrible to the touch, you know? I've heard that gangs, if you're in a gang and you want to leave that gang and you have one of their tattoos, you want to know how you um, get that tattoo removed? A cheese grater. They take a cheese grater to your forehead and rah, 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 rah. And that's kind of like what this knob felt like to your thumb, you know, to your fingers. It was just like it was grating the skin off your fingers. It felt horrible. The only reason I think that Charvel would even put that on a guitar is not to save money. It's because they wanted people customizing their guitars and changing the knobs at least, you know? Like, as a company, do you really want to put something on your guitar that's going to harm your customers? I don't fucking think so, you know? I wanted to just address that first because um, that is a fault of this guitar that I do wholly agree with. All right. Next um, is the headstock up here. Well, not the headstock itself, but the um, Grover Mini Tuners. Okay. Um, look, I have a guitar, an Xavier XV620. All right, cost me a hundred seventy bucks, or what's it called like two hundred two hundred bucks shipped, something like that. Okay. Um, and those tuners they go out of tune. Okay. You know Xavier is they have GFS pickups in them. GFS they make some good stuff. All right. But, and the guitar itself is pretty nice, but the tuners themselves, they go out of tune pretty easily, and I'm always changing that, and I'm going to have to upgrade those, all right? Now, Grover is a, a name brand tuner. They stay in tune. People complain about these, but I think their um, reasons for complaining about them are pretty unfounded, you know? Um, do they really need, does it have to be a shaler, you know? Um, I've looked at the prices for these, and the price for these and shalers and even our uh, Sprizels are, uh, you know, they're, they're all in the same um, price, you know, minus five or ten bucks, you know, so good tuners, they stay in tune, that's all I really care about, all right? Now, another issue that people seem to be talking about is they do not like the Floyd Rose system. As you can see there, that is a, uh, a real Floyd Rose. It is made in Korea, but it is real. It stays in tune. Uh, the guy before me, he upgraded the block in it, the brass block, um, for more sustain, um, I have another uh, Made in Korea Floyd Rose, and I don't have any problems with it. I can dive bomb the bitch to hell, and it still stays in tune, you know? So, uh, I think these um, complaints are pretty unwarranted. It doesn't matter where the, um, the tremolo is made, as long as it's made well. Uh, if Ferrari said, you know what, we make these Ferraris, and they cost 200000 bucks, but it's going to be cheaper to make our guitars... Um, by machines instead of handmade down in Korea. And it's going to be the exact same guitar, the exact, or the exact same car, for that matter. Um, the exact same qualities you get in Italy. It's just going to cost us less for labor down in Korea to make it. Um, and we're going to upgrade to a production line, okay? We don't need to make these by hand, necessarily. It's going to be the same thing, because machines can do it the same way that humans can, okay? And if they said that to you for your Ferrari, okay? Your supercar, your Ferraris, um... And it was the exact same thing for this Tremlo, you know, I'd sure go out and buy one of those, you know. If I could get a Ferrari for 20000 bucks, you know, fuck yeah, I would, you know. So, it stays in tune great. I don't have a problem with it. There's some glare from my computer screen, but uh, you get the general idea. And the Trem arm, it, it actually feels kind of cold to the touch, uh, which is a little different from what I'm used to. Um, and I really don't have a problem with this. Um, I like this, because um, also it's the screw type of um, bar right here. Um, there's some like Ibanez tremolos where you click them in and click them out, um, and those are okay, but I kind of like the bar right there, as you can see, um, so I can set the tightness to however I want it, so if I want the, um, bar super tight, like staying right in place, you know, I can really hunker that sucker down low, and the bar's not going to move, or if I just want it, um, like your standard kind of bar, um, and even took some force to remove that from this position, you know, just your standard bar swinging to wherever I want it, so I can be playing, and then it's not in my way when I'm playing, and I can just re-get it, you know, I like that, okay? Um, those are really the only big, big issues that I've heard, at least with the uh, San Dimas. Um, people comment they don't like the pick guard on the Soul Cals, and um, yeah, I can agree with that. It's kind of uh, crappy looking, if you don't mind me saying so, Charvel. Um, but as far as aesthetics go, I mean, I'm sure it works functionally, but as far as aesthetics go, it might be kind of nice. It's something glossy or something tortoiseshell or, I don't know, something or other, man. Uh, 
But as for this, um, it's fine. It worked. It sounds great. It feels great. This neck is... Oh, it's awesome, man. Uh, so, just some issues I wanted to address. Um, cool. San Dimas Charvel. Check it out.